Hello everyone, this is Sharing Creations by Carrie. Hey, it's Carrie. Hope you're doing well. Hopefully this video isn't a flop because it's starting off bad. This is only like try five. Because my neck of my thing that holds my phone, I'm having troubles with it. And it just started, I, I got through a couple items and it just dropped down. <laughs> So, had to redo it twice. Dog's acting a fool. My phone was acting a fool. So, hopefully we can get through this. I'm not going to spend much time on these first two. Because there's like 34 items. And I'm not real impressed with this one. It comes with three sizes of this paper. Three sizes of this. And three sizes of this one. Hopefully you can see. <clears throat> Got two of each of these. Apparently they give you four of these. <laughs> and two of those. I don't care for the tone of the ink. It's too soft. It's not what it looks like in the picture. I mean, I'm sure somebody will like it. So I'm just going to throw these into the giveaway. I rolled the dice on these, and somebody will probably like them. I just don't care for them too much. Try to keep them together. This kind of looks like a recipe card. I don't know what that looks like. File. That looks like another recipe card. <coughs> Sorry. Mm. You might have to pause and go get a drink. This one, I'm not too thrilled with. Um. I think I got these messed up already. <laughs> Need the same quantity. There, it's kind of like an artist collection. I swear to God, needy dog is starting in again. And I just gave him a treat. <laughs> You don't want a treat. Um, yep, that was the right way the first time. So I'm going to pretty much throw these into the giveaway because I don't see a use for them. I mean, they could go in junk journals. It's just more ink brushes and etc. Neat. And my hands are not cooperating. And then there's this, which I can't read most of it. Make your life a true work of art. <laughs> All right. So now that we get the two things that I'm not thrilled out of the way, I will link my order in the description. So if these interest you, go for it. I don't mean to offend anybody. It's just I didn't care for it too much. And let's go for the other thing I didn't care for that much. I seen somebody haul it and I was like, boy, that looks pretty. Uh -huh. Most of these pages and sticky are in a book I already have. Pretty sure I got that one. <laughs> I 
I like the format of it. I like some of the pages in here, obviously, because I thought a book with some of these in it. It's just, I'm not into, I know I have that page. Some of them were like, I'm not really into that. <clears throat> not into people. I mean, definitely some of these are from, and you get two of each. <clears throat> I mean, it's pretty, it's just not my style. Some of them. So, <clears throat> but I like the packaging. It looks different in, on my phone. <laughs> Maybe I should start using doing it on my laptop. That way I can actually see these images better. Like the detailed papers. Wrapped with vellum. I will use that. And this is more in the traditional junk journal kind of pages. You get two of each. You got nice little additions to a junk journal page. This was cool. I didn't realize that it came with vellum style ones too. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. I'm definitely looking at one of my junk journals being more on the traditional side. So that'll work let's go for this this is pretty cool i seen nicole from nicole's happy place she hauled these the hopefully you can see the holographic hearts oh wow oh that is so cool they go small and then they get to the biggest size and then they go back to small again that's cool was that supposed to yep that is cool and then you get one that's more of like shards is the design. And this is, um, what do they call it? Broken Dream on Array of Stars. And you get 12 of these colored sheets and two of the um, holographic sheets. And these are stickers. So some of them are like on the acetate, which six of them are on the acetate, and six are pet. So more of a matte finish to the the pet ones. I guess the pet ones. If I can match it up, that would be great. Nope, I'm wrinkling it. No, I can't even tell you. No, well, I guess the ones on the acetate are pet. And these are, I guess, stickers. <coughs> Just regular sort of stickers. And then you get. Six of them on the acetate. And these are pets. I thought that these are pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. <laughs> but I thought they were cool, so I had to try them out. Uh, so why not, right? Oops, I put them backwards. Oh, that's all right. That's what they look like. And it shows you on the, the back what you get. All right. Uh, let's take care of the other page, the larger paper. 
This paper was disappointing also. Um, it's, of course, dull. What's this? It's 24 sheets, two of each. I guess, you know, some of these can be used like this. Looks dirty. But I was thinking of masculine cards. So, um, I don't know about this paper. My thought was, sorry, I probably made a bunch of noise. Uh, my thought was is because I'm making cards for males and females that I could find paper that was more masculine. So I think I'm going to end up using this making cards for the gentleman that I'm going to make them for. They are the oil. I just hauled these in my last order. I had already ordered or a couple orders ago. I had ordered them and didn't realize that I ordered them. And then I saw Nicole's Happy Place. They're like a tissue paper. So, a rice paper, it's very thin like that. And so, I can maybe, you know, background pages for cards. Some of you that watch my hauls have already seen this paper probably a few times. <laughs> so, there's the Years and papers. That's more of the background. Neutral background. This is the floral background. <clears throat> Sorry. I should have got should go get some water. Oh, there's one. And this one's bouquet memories. Which is so funny because now I have two of each. So I could use these in my junk journals also. I just think it's interesting. And then the other thing that I did show last time, but I don't know. The colors are so vivid when you stick them on a background, especially white. Like you see this one, and then it just seems to pop extra on white paper. <laughs> like the image gets drawn up almost like a the background pulls those flowers up and reduces the, the background so this is this the last one yep that's the last one so that's what I like about this paper quite a bit is, is it's it's unique and how interesting it looks on a piece of paper. White background. Okay, I got this set. I pulled it out because I had to check everything. One of my items came up short on how many was in it. Um, this has 85 pieces in it, and I'm going to go through it as quick as I can. Um, it came wrapped with ribbon. Came packaged very nicely. Has jute in there. It has stickers. Hands will cooperate. Quite a bit of little bows, stickers, in different colors. Some hearts. Flowers, some circles, and some ribbon. 
you get 10 strips of sentiments, except it's so small I can barely read it. So this is a definitely a junk journal type. This would, would not cut it on a card. It says lace is white and dreamy with soft flowers and patterns to weave the love of love and dream of life. They're winded. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. I can probably see the purple one a little better. When people don't say things in the world, there is nothing in the world. Uh, let's see if I can read. Ooh, that's super tiny. I cannot read that. Okay, so there's two of those. Two of the blue. They both say the same thing. We get, and you get one in cursive and oh, nope. Hope you have a long and happy life. I hope there are four dull and flowers put. Okay, that doesn't even make sense. And I can't read that. Tiny cursive. Okay, so then you get one of those shapes. These are hard. You know, love these in my junk journal. The blue one that I do. This will go into the traditional one. There's a um, lace sticker. And this one got a little bent. I ordered some. Of, is it this? I think it's some. Yeah, I ordered this. It, uh, I don't think it has the white strip in the middle though. But it's got the lace with the flowers in it. At least I hope it doesn't have a strip in the middle. Because now I'm like looking at that, I'm uh -uh. <laughs> you got two lace die cutouts or doily lacy die cutouts. Oh, I got bent a little. That's tiny intricate. Then you get these the cards. With the lace frames. And then you get these pieces of paper that look like they are leather and crushed up paper. Then you get these tiny papers. You get two of each. And that paper oh, I'm up a little bit when I was looking at it. And then you get the next size up of these papers. And you get two of these also. These are nice little junk journal pages to add. And then you get the next size up, which you get two of also. These will definitely go into some of the traditional ones. And then these two, and then it had a piece of black, very thick cardstock. So I thought this one was nice. Nice pieces to add to. Multiple junk journals. And then, okay, let's go to these. These, I saw these and I thought they were kind of interesting. The story of doors. So you get 20 of them. Even this one you can use because <laughs> it's already got the cutout. You do have to score it if you want your door to open more. Because they're just cut, they're not scored. So you get two of each. I was hoping that they would be a little more shinier, pretty dull, but they're thick enough cardstock that I think if I wanted them shiny, 
I could probably hit them with some Mod Podge. Not all of them are, are die cut. Um, this one's not. This one is. This one's not. This one's not. And this one's not. I thought those were kind of interesting. I probably don't won't use 20 of them, so I may put some in the giveaway. Just for the fact of the volume of it. I don't see what I would use that all for. Okay. So we have this, which is part of a series where somebody bought four of them. So you, this is more on a traditional side. You get butterflies, hearts, flower shapes, circles. Looks like an old coffee machine or brewer. Here it looks like another one that went on top of the stove. This one's more... I think this one's actually called coffee. And it's got coffee cups, like cappuccino, little traditional teacups. You've got teapots. And this looks like it's supposed to be a coffee jar. Wonderful time. Afternoon tea. Not a clue what that says, but you get two of those. Here, cookies, cakes, and leg, leg, leg gums. Don't even know what that is. <clears throat> now the teacup. So this one was definitely geared towards the le chocolate. So I had gotten some very similar to this, which I got another one of. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I really like the colors, so I guess we had to buy a second set of those. And then when we went looking to get a second set, we found these, so we had to get these, of course. Because we're going to do every set kind of thing sometimes. And I thought this would be fun if I did a traditional junk journal. This was the set that I bought that I loved. So I had to get another one. <laughs> so you got some butterflies. These are more hydrangea, purples, blues, butterflies. Simil very similar, just the design or the print is different. This is T's, tulips, geared around flowers, teapots, so. That's going to be fun in my junk journal. That's going to be, I keep saying blue, but it's, it's going to be the blues and the purples and the pinks. And it's going to be around flowers and you name it. Wherever this paper takes me. So this is the, what is this pink, pink and red tones. It's listed as A, B, C, and D kind of thing. Mm, don't know what that is. Something rose. Got the pink butterflies. Yeah, this is definitely geared towards the roses and.
Tea time with the ladies and teacups again. There's two. Mason jar. That was a cloche. Looks like these two. And these little ones are stickers. Little pieces are stickers and then it goes into paper. And then we have the green one. Green and white flowers. So you've got the hearts, the little tags, the flowers, plants, butterflies, the flower shapes, the circles. Oops, sorry, you probably can't even see anything I just showed you. You got the teacups again. Pop out the teacup handles. <laughs> They didn't finish the the cuts. Let's get the teacups. Get that shape. And you get some eggs. Yes, pepper. You know what that is. Again with these shapes. It looks like there's French writing all over them. Cloche, mason jar, okay, and this one. I thought this was a pretty set too. So happy with those. Oh my goodness, I can't pick up the. Oh, I was gonna say flower. Yeah, it wasn't even a flower. Butterfly I didn't want to come up. He want to fly. Right. And then we have the set, which was wrapped in the leather strap, leather leather cord. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm using that in my junk journal. But this one is tag material package. So this is where you can layer them up. There's 30 pieces in this. I'm about to go out of frame again. So I'll save those for last. Those are pretty cool. So you get flowers that I bent. You get a plant type. And you get variations of these different tags, tickets, whatever, that I thought were interesting. I mean, you get these little ones that these little bitty things that I'm having a hard time holding on to. <laughs> Shine brightly. That flower, you yeah, stand up. Eight the fall seven times. So then you get these little bracelet bead stickers. And then you got a flower. And this is where you can add your bows. Oh, and there's a couple more flowers. Oh, pine cones and a Dead flower. <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> then you got that tag, that tag, that tag, that tag, and that tag. I ordered some grommets. Hopefully, the grommets will work with this. That was my hope that I got a variety of tags or grommets, but I have a feeling I bought all little bitty ones, which is fine. My stickers won't work because they're pastels, 
So we'll just be attacked with nothing. Okay, and then I got this green one, which is also tag material packet. Butterfly Shadow, the other one was Secret Garden. So we get some of these little envelope sticker thing on my jiggies. <laughs> uh, the fake wax melts. And then we get these interesting clippings. And these are all stickers, by the way. These are definitely nice for layering on your junk journal. You get one of those. And then you get some very large butterflies. And then you get, again, still stickers. Large stamp styles stick stickers. Well, I'm gonna have to sleep after this because words are not working out for me. Still stickers. And then you get these odd cards. Which I'm not even sure how this part plays out because I actually thought that these parts popped out. But they don't there. This is how they are. So I'm guessing like use this as your base and I don't know, funny enough, this one has no flowers. Well, that's weird. Well, I guess you could I don't know. <laughs> Back up some stuff. But one of these, oh, we'll put one of these, butterfly, I don't know, that kind of like covers the whole card, but you get five of these in different colors. So that's how they have it, like stacked up. Actually, you don't even use this part. You just use, like, you've got a stamp. Actually, it's this one. This one. Yes. You've got a stamp like that. You've got this. For God's sake, I can't pick nothing up. This here. It was a small butterfly, but this doesn't have a small um it has a paper in the background and it has one of these two hickeys <laughs> right here with another butterfly right there so i'm not sure how this plays into it It's supposed to go like that, and maybe a little pocket, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't look right though. Anybody know? Because <laughs> that's if they wanted it as a pocket, then why wouldn't it? Be green like that. I don't know. And then you lose the pocket. I don't know. So anyway, <laughs> that's that's it. I'm sure I will find a cool way to use these because I might even I cut out something out like a square out of the center of them and do a peekaboo window 
cut it, re-glue it so that it's um, a pocket. I think that's what I'll probably end up doing is turn them into a pocket. Goodness. They just keep falling out of my little, their little makeshift pocket. That's not a pocket. Okay. So let's keep going with these. These are vintage collection. That's 45 pieces. I believe they're stickers that you get. Probably three. One of them I got. They gave me six short, so six of them don't have three. So I'll put in a request for a rebate. But these are pretty stickers. And these two, as I was thinking, depending on what you wanted to do with them, you could put some paper behind it and make them like tags, certain ones. I thought, I thought these were pretty. These can definitely go into my other, uh, my ongoing junk journal. Because there's a lot of pinks and greens and that set, so. This would probably clash. Who knows, I might end up doing a strictly pink one because I have books. I just need to get the right paper because. I'll show that on another haul. <laughs> I got, I think it's A6 books, but the paper is like stupid small. And this one is the yellow flowers. Nice little vellum folder envelopes, which can easily go into your junk journals also. So these are reds, greens, yellows, whites. I hope I'm showing to showing them to you the way you can actually see them. I'm sorry if I haven't. Um, if there's something you want to see, just let me know and I will try to fix that so you can actually see. I'll just lose and handle them all, so there is a clue. Somebody's tired and needs to go to bed. Just finished my 40 hours and I should be sleeping, but I'm not because they keep delivering orders. <laughs> I was literally getting ready to take a nap and got notification. Your order. So this order, well, not this order. The one I'm talking about was not supposed to be here. It was several states away. And the things that, the prizes that I won for Fishland were supposed to be here tomorrow and they're one state over so this came but the other one didn't the prizes i was like that makes no sense Oops, these are the blue ones and of course this is the one they came up six short so we got some pretty teals. These are definitely going to go into my blue junk journal. There's that one. Bummed out because I really like this one. And there's six of them that are only two. So 
ですよ。なんか、These look quite pretty. My hands are really quitting on me. And I like the different shapes and different sizes. Got the different, it's got teals in there, different shades of blue, which I really like. And these are all stickers. And I actually think these are washi stickers. Let me just click on. Yep. They are washi stickers. So, yeah, if you want to make them stiff or put them on cardstock. So, all three of these sets are washi stickers. The only thing I, I like washi stickers, the only thing I don't like is that they're thin and you can see through them if you don't put them on white paper. Granted, some people do like that, but I'm not a fan of the see-through part. Okay, so on a previous haul, literally previous haul before this one, I got the gray. A couple of hauls ago, I got these, which I really liked, and so I ordered another one of each. And I've already set the other blue one aside for my blue junk journal. I'm going to use these on cards on my other junk journals. So. If you want to see the gray one, look at the previous haul. Okay, so I got, oh wait, you can't even see it. Wow. It's so stained that if I put it on paper, you can't see it. Wow, that's crazy. So this is a stamp. Roses. Darn it, I was going to try this again. I tried to paint it with mica powders. As you can see, that didn't go so well. It covered black. So what I wanted to try to do was dust it off and try to stamp it again. So I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I got my. And I watered it down. I was going to do mica powders on cards. Yep. I'm not doing that. Ooh. Crap, I don't want a piece of paper towel. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't realize that it comes right off. And I don't want people to have to deal with a card that the powder comes off on their hands. Well, that's interesting. Somebody said you can put um, hairspray over it. Hmm. Yeah, my pot all over my table. Well, that's interesting. That has another very soft lavender, lavender look to it because it was lavender mica powder. Well, you can laugh at me. I'm an idiot. I am learning about mica powder. Oh my god. All I'm doing is making a big mess. Oh, goodness. At least my table sparkles. <laughs> I'm really new to mica powders and embossing powders and all that stuff. When you rub it, it definitely takes the shine away. 
it's still, it's still coming off. Yeah, I don't think I like painting with mica powders. So it's it's a pretty stamp. I was I was trying to paint the what was white and it just kind of flooded into the black and then it covered the black and so I tried to spread it out and I thought well if I stamp over it again but that's not gonna work I, I already know that it's not gonna work I've seen people do all kinds of stuff with mica powder but it comes off I'm not dealing with that that's like dealing with glitter so that's a pretty stamp Hold on, let me clean this up. Okay, I'm back. Got the mica powder cleaned up. <laughs> and the next thing is I got some tags, tag dies that are cute, pup related. So, <laughs> they were cute. I don't know how I'm going to use them. But they're adorable. <clears throat> Probably should do it this way, seeing that you can't see. But you got the, the fish with the kitty. You got the bone. That looks a little wonky. <laughs> and the dog. That looks a little wonky. The house, the heart. Of course, my favorite one's the paw print one. And of course, I saved the bits. Those. Uh, now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, mm, I only like two. <laughs> well, three fish. But I'm not quite sure what I would use them for. I guess I could make a couple of cat and dog pages in my junk journal. Why not? I love them babies. And then a few more things. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had got some eggs. These are all stickers. These are sorry about the wrapper. Rolls of stickers so you get 10 each they're pretty these will be nice and junk journals which i'm excited to use but i put them on cardstock so they're not just stickers anymore there's cards so I I can use some as stickers, but you get ten, so then it's runaway roll of tape here. You get the nice stickers, so I just put them on cardstock and cut it out. It's not something that I would do on a regular basis, cause I'm not a fan of fussy cutting. I did not realize how much I didn't like to cut around stuff. So that's that one. <clears throat> I think these are like two forty eight for these. Something like that. One seventy eight, I can't remember. I'm not even gonna try to guess. But my order will be in there, so if this interests you, you can click the link. Um, if it just so happens that when you go to look at it, um, aren't it something with discontinued? Right. I don't know what it was now. Oh, not this order. <laughs> then I got this roll.
And these are interesting. I like these with the, the layering of the, the pictures. And then the first one you get, they cut. It's, they did a poor job of cutting the rolls. So and those are the middle ones. <clears throat> Things stuck in my finger. So, and then there's this one. And that one was cut too. All three of them. The first one was cut. So, and I took on the tag style ones, which I liked because you've got the tag on this that's curved, and then you've got the, the tag on this one, which is got a different, totally different design on this one. But if you see my previous haul, if not, there's a, I got a three millimeter hole punch and I punched the holes in those. So I made them actually look like tags. So I'm going to use those in junk journals. Ugh. I'm going to have to be in the mood to cut these out again. I did not enjoy cutting those. And then I got some shaker stuff. Which is looks like snowflakes, circles, stars, flowers, art. Little circles, tiny hearts, tiny flowers, but it's it's pretty full, right up to the neck of the bottle, and oh, what's there? Oh, there. It's like holographic light blue, and then it's got some clear pieces in there too. Interesting. This is a little fun shaker. Got big pieces. Yeah, it's holographic. See the pinks and the clear pieces. The purple right there. I see greens. Hopefully, um, you can see that too. Oh, there's a leaf shape. A little tiny star. Oh. Um. Oh, we should put these back in because I'm going to lose a bunch of them. Oh, they're sticking in my hand. Hmm. Well, on the static -y side. That means they're going to stick if I do an acetate. They do not. Get the static off. Did I drop any more? Okay. So this was like 74 cents or something like that. And then I got a mess over here. I got some scissors. I got a silver pair. And a bronze look pair. They're, they're decent scissors, but they were only like a dollar eight or something like that. Not expensive, just wanting a regular pair of scissors. Because I, I have this I bought. Probably one of my first few orders for Timu, I think. But, and then I have this pair I get at Walmart, which is more of a fussy cut pair. But I wanted more than one pair <clears throat> that I could just reach in and grab and stick those small cut type ones. So, and then I got some Dollar Tree ones. <laughs> just to be able to reach and grab. Like I have multiple pairs of 
tweezers in this little compartment too. So that I can just if I grab one, I'm gonna get one. And then the last thing to this order, thank goodness, is I got more shaker stuff. <laughs> little glass ones. Yay, none of them were broken. But they fill these things up so much. There's only a couple of them that are light on as far as how hard they fill them. You got like tiny beads, hard, uh, stars, crazy glitter. So these two, I don't think I'll ever open them. Little bubbles, circles, flowers, hearts. And then you got these flat bag beads. Which <clears throat> I didn't see those in the other ones that I got. So I was kind of surprised to see those. That's considered blue. This is red number two, I think it is, which is the dark red. Or is this the red? But this, <clears throat> my thought was Christmas. And just get tiny, tiny little pieces. You got the glitter up the wazoo in there. I thought there would be snowflakes in the red one. There is. What else? Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's the red. And here is the green. Variations in colors. So some of this is going to be used specifically for Christmas, shakers. <clears throat> Here's your yellows, which, okay, make that make sense. There's snowflakes in the yellow. But I don't see snowflakes in the red. That's dumb. <laughs> my hearts and stars and flower shapes. Tiny, my neat beads. The five bags and those too. And this bag was ripped. No, I'm just gonna. There's some snowflake ones in this one. I think there's snowflakes in some of the other ones I previously got. This one's got beads in it, so those will be fun for shakers for Christmas. Um, and the flat backs in those. Yeah. The bag got stuck on the sticky part. It's sticky right there. And they sealed it. So this is a very pretty pastel-y pinks. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't even know what I did with the other ones. Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. I don't even know what I put them. Uh, insane. I don't even know where I put them. Oh, yeah, I do. So, I will show you the difference of... Can I get two of these pinks? Oh, no, this is a different... Where is it? Yeah, this one's got white in it. Okay, that's weird. Okay, so sticky. So this was listed under red. And this is it's like red one, red two. So that shows you the difference in variation of the darkness of this red. It didn't look very dark. Until you put it next to the other red. So, 
And then the silver one I'll put with the gold. Don't know what I'm gonna do with the other ones. We'll put the yellow one here. Um, I don't know. There. So almost a whole tray full of them. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, well, I can stick this one right there. Nope. I ain't gonna stick because this is gonna get. That's an I'll have to put that in the other container. So that is everything. I think I got a gigantic mess here. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure I got all of those. Left them in the pouches so that I wouldn't break them. Yeah, so that is this order. Hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything that you'd like to see better in I didn't show very good, got out of frame, whatever. Any questions, let me know and I will be happy to answer them. Hit all the buttons. If you haven't subscribed yet, go for it. It doesn't cost you anything. And then when you hit subscribe, there's options. So if you don't want to see every single one of my videos, Cool. But if you do, hit the all. And you'll get notified with every single one of them. And I have two more planned. Another haul. And then I was doing a little bit of playing this week. Making faux rice paper. And I was doing something with fabric. Don't ask me what it is. But I was doing it. <laughs> so... Maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight. I don't know. I might pass out and not wake up until tomorrow. <laughs> but I have a small haul and then another small haul, which I may save for tomorrow to show you when I get the prizes. So that may be a dual one there. But I'd like to show you what I've done with the faux rice paper, and I haven't gotten to it yet. I've made the faux rice paper. I just haven't made anything with it yet. So I want to show you what you can make with it. So keep an eye out for that one. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.